Hello Doc, uh, Virtual Trekkie here. I've just come up with some ideas for your lower area. Uh, didn't bother with the most. I figured maybe these will just spark some ideas of your own. I want to say before I start is real quick and you know if you'll allow me some fangasm here is that I've been watching for quite a while. Uh, really love your videos. Been watching you since your last world tour. I hope you keep up the great work. I love everything you do. It's especially amusing to a redstone idiot such as myself. But anyway, let's get going. And the first thing you'll notice when I come down here, now this is the bottom area right before your hatch, uh, is these lighting in the walls. What all these are really is two redstone lamps above each other with some slabs across the bottom and slabs across the bottom, uh, top. And what they do is they essentially glitch out the light so it looks like it's giving light and it does a little bit, but it's not really. All it really that all the light that really escapes through those slabs is about one or two light levels. So it's not enough to block mob spawning, but given the compactness of this whole area, the spawn, or I mean the nether portal, the end portal, and the system down there, you shouldn't have too, you're really not within distance to really spawn too many monsters. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue, and I'm sure if you mess around with it, being the genius at this as you are, you'll figure it out. So basically, Starting off the way your world was as I downloaded it, there'd be two spaces and then there's a wall. What I did is I pushed the wall out one, and in front of that, I added another layer of endstone. Let me get my stuff situated. And then below it, I put a line of. Uh, uh, nether. God dang. Uh, nether brick slabs. On the very ends are, are stairs. Stairs upward and stairs upside down to give it kind of a nice end. And it just wraps all the way around. Now, between the stairs on the side, this was actually a three space. So all I had to do was cut out a little bit of wall to put the redstone lamps in. And then I added above it some more of this endstone. So it looks really nice. I, I was like kind of the glitchy, excuse me if it froze a bit there. I always kind of like the glitchy lighting that this gave. It hasn't been patched for a while. I've been using this for several versions now. Um, and it works exceedingly well with the netherrack. For some reason, just the dark colored netherrack seems to work really well for it. So it's really simple, particularly given the fact you can farm with your witch farm the materials needed for these lamps. So it gives it some flavor, gives, it some gives the wall some dimension without being too terribly difficult to throw together. Uh, the most difficult part will probably be getting the nether rat or the nether brick. Apologies. Okay, now the central part. You have your hatch, which I moved back toward the end, further wall, further away from the. Sp I don't know why I'm freezing so badly. Um, moved away from your spawner. I moved it one over so it kind of lines up with the stairwell. And down below, simple as that. I think I put the trapdoor on backwards. I sure did. There we go. <laughs> oh, freezing like a madman. So you could just walk up it and you could just push forward and immediately get out of it. And all that's really here is along the edge of stairs, pretty simple. And along the middle is slabs. All the way up to the enchanting network, which is just a three by three in front of your spawn area. This the, like the, there's a part of the wall that juts out in front of the spawner room and it's just a three by three no oh, ah now I'm just making it worse and now where's my trap door let me repair this real quick and the light from will shine through the trap door lighting up this area a bit but it will not appear as if there is actually any light here the lights actually coming from these lamps below here but you don't have to have them showing in the middle of the floor so it's not quite as you know, it's a lot more obscure, and it keeps gives the room a nice flow. And of course, it's sunk down here. And if I'd stop freezing for a second, you got your enchanter. And below the enchanter is actually another redstone lamp. It doesn't interfere with the spawner. I've checked out and triple checked everything, and it'll actually shine through the enchanting table, allowing it to light up this portion of the room without being visible. 
so you don't have to worry about really making visible lights. It looks a lot nicer. And of course, there's five enchanting uh, bookshelves on top of each other. I actually tore out the wall, uh, but don't worry, light don't shine. As you know, light don't shine through bookshelves. So, and you don't see that portion of the wall from inside the spawner, anyways. So, save space. You go up here, you get chant. You get your 30. Bam. I got. Ah, smite. Not that it matters, it's your world. Uh, I got your anvils here. There's two of them, mostly just for symmetry. Really hard to put, throw it in here anywhere else and have it really make sense. I guess in. I say you could pop. Whoop, no. You could put it back here. Maybe if you had like another block like here, you could put your anvil in the middle there. Uh, anywhere you want. I mean, it's your world, right? And over here are just some basic sh uh, chests with some slabs around them to keep it, keep the look of the flow that I have going. And some, just some slabs here. So yeah, that's basically all I've done with the area. Aside from moving your ladder one back. I think it looks really nice. I like the lighting effects. Like I said, these kind of give the give the illusion of giving off light, but they don't really. And I like the kind of glowy effect. It's kind of neat. And of course, I haven't messed with anything up here at all. I think I'll allow you to do that because it is your world. And we don't watch it for my designs. We watch it for your ideas. So I hope you liked it. Um, whether you use it now or never, it doesn't matter. It's just, you know, just me giving you, trying to give you some ideas. Uh, keep up with the good work. Love your series. Can't wait to see what you actually decide to do down here. I'm sure it'll be great. Um, the Endstone and Netherrack. Not a combination I've ever used. I've always used Sandstone and Netherrack. I don't know why I keep calling it Netherrack. Uh, Nether Brick. Sandstone and Nether Brick's a very good combination as well. But yeah, the Endstone. Really hard to find use for it, but you've done good with that. So yeah, here's my ideas. Um, love them or leave them. Keep up the good work. This is Trekkie. Uh, have a great day.